Okay, one, two, three. Hey guys, so today in this video, we're gonna be talking about the RAAS system, which is the renin angiotensin adosterone system. And this is Ashley, introduce yourself, people. Hello. <laughs> I'm Harris. I'm Grace. You already know. Amy. <laughs> Alright, I'm the liver. I release angiotensin and I'm on a hormone release into the blood and I release into the kidneys. <laughs> yup. Yep. So once it gets to the kidneys, I release renin and that mixes with the angiotensinogen. <laughs> so this is our mix. Yup. And then I give it to the lungs and then it becomes angiotensin 1. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I make Ace in response to all of that. <laughs> Actually, here you go. Oh, there we go. And you just release it over the other into the adrenal gland and the kidney. Okay, and I'm the adrenal gland, and it looks like this on top of the kidney. Yep, it looks like that. So I get angiotensin two. So angiotensin two is a ACE um, inhibitor, which causes your BP to go up. So it causes, she's the artery for this example. So she gets squeezed like that, then your, which is the artery and your blood pressure goes up. And so technically, then the next thing I get is aldosterone, which causes your sodium levels to go up or causes a water retention in your body, which makes your BP also go up. And angiotensin or aldosterone also causes your potassium level to go down. So you have to be very careful and you have to check potassium levels in that situation. And that is 